Hi everyone, it's Jez and Neil from the Chinese Tech Away, and we're gonna now continue on from our previous video, which was the sweet side of this announcement, which was basically the performance side, the value side, as well as the design side of these cards. Uh, so Neil, what's the sour side, the, the not so good side for these cards then? So with this 3000 series, what is something that causes issues with me? Well, let's start off firstly in terms of the value proposition. No doubt we're getting a lot of bang for buck, but can we get more bang for buck? And really, we will find out in next month when uh, AMD will officially uh, launch their next gen uh, graphics cards. Yeah, I think this is a very, very good move uh, for basically consumers. Uh, you're getting a new card that's coming out in the next few weeks, as well as even more new graphics cards that's going to be announced probably by the end of this month by its number one rival. And they're going to come out swinging because Big Navi is being absolutely um, hyped because uh, they've got a new, uh, basically a, di a new die process which is actually smaller than NVIDIA's. So it's going to be really interesting to see what they come up with. And with AMD products, they're always much better value for money. Yeah. And we have to remember that there's no way AMD is going to release a product that is less price to performance ratio. Even if it means they have to sacrifice some of their profits, they realize that they need to be competitive in the market. You just wouldn't put something that wouldn't work. I mean, even if you look at Steam, NVIDIA have 70% plus of the market share. So they need to at least try and gain market share with this launch if they're not going to make profits. So we have to wait and see. And I think, you know, we, we haven't seen the benchmarks yet. We haven't really dug into this. There's been some unboxing videos online, but we don't know the actual performance of these, um, these NVIDIA cards. It's all taking on the merit of what they've said. And uh, has NVIDIA always delivered on what they've said? I don't know. Not always, I don't think. Yeah, absolutely agree with you. Uh, you, There's a lot of marketing speak that's been thrown around without actually benchmarks. And until we get them in and actually benchmark them uh, ourselves or by verified people, then there's no way that we know that they're actually being honest with what they're um, pushing out. And that comes on to the third thing that... Um, I am a little bit hesitant on. Um, this is actually a personal gripe for me, actually. Um, it's the design. I mean, I'm sure we said that it looks good. And from an engineering perspective that, you know, it's great to see it cooling in all sorts of in a, a new way. But for me, it's the size that gets me. I, it's it's humongous. It's I, I didn't realize how big it was until... I got a measuring tape out and I, I found the specifications and the diameters. It, it's That's impossible to put it in a <laughs> mini ITX case. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah. It is big. It is big. And um, this graphics card is, uh, the founder's edition is actually the smallest at 285 mils. And then all the third party boards are 300 mils plus for the 3080, um, which by the way, I think is the, the graphics card to get. I mean, there's no, if you get the 3070, you're getting the same performance as what you can get today, albeit cheaper, but you should be buying to get something better. And that's what the 3080 will give you. Um, and Absolutely. that size is big. It's um, 200, I've got an ATX case. Thankfully, I'm okay. But you know, the way that um, people are going these days is ITX. They want to go smaller. They want to get leaner. And you really need to check your computer to see if you can fit some of these boards because um, there's a good chance it won't. Yeah, this guy has a mini ITX case. Um, <laughs> I I literally bought this case just for these cars, but I didn't realize how big they were. I bought it around March and April time because I was getting rid of my old PC and I am putting a kind of a, a size to performance um, case. And yet there's, it's the point where even the 3080 might not fit in my case. Wow. That's how big... The 3080 is also very big. I mean, the 3090 yeah. is ridiculous. I, I I was heartbroken when I went to see the 3090 case. I just was like, okay, I, I accept where I am. 3080. The 3080 might even not might not even fit. It's it's also a very big um, uh, card. Yeah, 
I mean, 3090 is triple slot. So yeah, you you have full a- you need a full ATX card for that thing. So yeah. I'm sorry to hear your predicament, uh, Jez. And uh, you know you can try and predict all these things for future upgrades, but sometimes you can't you can't, you can't foresee these things. So maybe again, Radeon might be coming out with their new graphics card, and maybe the size fits for you. So you know you've really got to look at your existing build when you're you're choosing your next part. And the other part that's that that, that is important is power supply. You know we are we now have more power requirements for this. And and Jez, how's that going to affect your build? Oh, it's so power hungry. It, the 3090, you need at least a minimum of 1,000 watt PSU. And no, there, there's no such thing, there's no such uh, PSU for a small form factor case. The most that you can get is a 750, which is what I've got um, from, from Corsair. And it'll just about power a 3080. Yeah. Yeah, it, and you don't... And when you're putting these, uh, you know, thousands of dollars worth of kit in your rig, you know, you want a good power supply to make sure you don't run any risk of undervolting or, 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 you know, basically your computer exploding. So yeah, it's you can see Nvidia has thrown the kitchen sink at this to make sure they can create a power, a powerful beast and an FPS frame rate pusher at the expense of also increased wattage, and it shows that there are a little bit. Um, afraid or at least cautious of what AMD is coming out with. And as you said earlier, the, the seven nanometer process, which is smaller than the eight nanometers for, for NVIDIA, the um, way that they're taking Intel by storm on their processes and how that might carry over to their GPUs. It's, you know, at the end of the day, it's great for you and I and consumers because we are getting better bang for buck at the end of the day with everything that's coming out. Yeah. And, uh, and another gripe that I have as well with it is the ridiculous 12 pin connector. Absolutely agree. I uh, you know, the, the the way that they've put this in the middle of the PCB. Uh, if you again, people have ATX cases and they like to have a mirror or ITX cases and they have a mirror on the. I'm oh, sorry, not a mirror. They have a window on the side of the case so you can look in. And now you're just going to be literally front and center is going to be this bloody cable that's not cable managed. Um, so yeah, it's a big big opportunity miss. Yeah, and if you look at the connector itself, uh, you see people reviewing it. The connector is actually really tiny it's it's very short so mm. not only is the connector um um in that is in the middle of the card the actual cable that converts it is way too short so it, yeah. it's really hard to to like manipulate around, uh the actual connector to you know try and hide it yeah and you know you think oh whatever i'll just get a third party cable and that will solve the whole issue and guess what NVIDIA has said that they'll void your warranty if you use a third-party cable. Um, so how they check that, I don't know. But still, it's it seems like it's a bit of an afterthought, this cable idea. It's meant to make things neater, I would have thought, better. You know, less space on the PCB, I get it. But actually, when you get all these cables coming in and out, it's going to give the illusion of a bigger a bigger GPU at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, I know. It's... I, I, there is hope for this card though. So mm. a lot of these third party cards, um, I've been told, um, will get smaller as well as they improve the cooling technology. So mm-hmm. if you actually look at the PC, um, the card itself, slot itself, it's actually sm- slightly smaller than the actual cooler. So hopefully the, the, they might have some updated designs uh, for maybe next year for, for the for, for newer coolers where it'll be much smaller so that could be a positive to look at but right now i'm just shaking my head being like I, it's they, they they tried to throw the kitchen sink at it however at what cost right yeah exactly and did they think of everything? Probably not. So as much excitement and positivity that's coming out of this, there's a good chance you might end up very disappointed and upset because you can't get yourself on some, your hands on something that you want. Um, and we're here to say, don't worry about it. It's actually a good thing because you'll end up with more options a month later down the road. Um, and also, I think when you upgrade, don't upgrade for the sake of upgrading. You need to have that reason why. What are you really going to use that graphics card for? Is there an application? Is there a game that you're specifically waiting for? Um, I think Cyberpunk is one of the big release dates and one of the big big games that are coming out and you want to play that in full glory. Um, so maybe you should be following when that's coming out to make your decision on when to buy. And we haven't even touched on the CPUs because they're, they're also next, in less than a month, we've also got the next generation of CPUs coming out from um, AMD. So are you waiting for that big upgrade for the whole system? If that is the case, 
definitely hold off from this RTX launch. You need to wait um, another another month on top of that, at least. Yep. Um, I think when you said Cyberpunk 2077, you nailed it on the head. I'm waiting. Uh, that's the reason why I'm upgrading my PC. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So guys, tell us why you're upgrading your PC and, and will you get the uh, NVIDIA card or will you wait for ATI to, to show their hand? So thanks everyone for tuning in. Please like and subscribe uh, down below and uh, look forward to catching up next week. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.